In the wake of Dong Zhuo's defeat, Liu Bei flees into hiding after being attacked and defeated by Cao Cao. Guan Yu, his one brother, temporarily serves under Cao Cao. But after learning the whereabouts of Liu Bei, he prepares to return to his brother's side. Alright, so here is the next tale, Guan Yu's escape, and in order to get to this particular tale, you have to play the battle of Sishui Gate. Do not enter the supply depot, do not defeat the general inside that supply depot. Make sure Sun Jian retreats, defeat Hua Shang, and trigger the cutscene where Yuan Shao says, uh, Hua Shang's been defeated by whom? And then when you play the battle of Hu Lao Gate, defeat Lu Bu, defeat Diao Chan, but make sure Dong Zhu retreats from battle. So, yeah, that's a lot. Anyway, there's also an item here that we could get. Pretty much on both sides, but we'll get to South South side. Uh, we'll get to South South side later. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. And what we're gonna get here is the bodyguard manual, and I highly recommend you playing as Guan Yu to get it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So there we go. You know what? Let's just yeah. Might as well play as a second costume. I mean. What, this is the fourth time I'm playing as Guan Yu, I believe? Fifth? It's been a while. Anyway, so the uh, equipment, the only thing I need to change is that. There you go. Bodyguards are still at 8. Our weapon is at level 6. I don't think we're going to get to level 7 here. Hopefully. I mean, who knows. Anyway, the objective. Just like in the last time we played, Guan Yu's escape. We gotta make sure both Guan Yu, which is me, and the carriage reach the Yellow River. In order to do that, we have to defeat the five generals guarding the five gates and then heading towards the Yellow River. If anywhere in that particular path, if I die or if they manage to destroy the carriage, we lose. It's game over. Plain and simple. Or if the time runs out, which is very unlikely. But anyway, unit info. In Dynasty Warriors 3, well first off, for the Liu Bei's forces is only me as Guan Yu and uh, the carriage. For Cao Cao's forces, in Dynasty Warriors 3, in order, you had to defeat Zheng He, Zhen Ji, Zhao Yuan, Shu Huang, and Shu Zhu. Those were the five generals that guarded the gate in Dynasty Warriors 3. However, when it comes to the story of the romance of the Three Kingdoms, that's absolute horseshit. So, here are the actual five that guard the gates. Kong Xiu, Han Fu, Bian Shi, Hu Ban, and Xin Shi. Believe it or not, actually the fourth... The person that guarded the fourth one was uh, Wang Zhe, who he'll actually be here in this uh, battle as well. So, yeah. Anyway. So, enough of that. Let's actually start this battle. And, uh... Yeah, enough of this shit. <laughs> and then I'll talk about the bodyguard manual in a bit have you come to stop me I know I cannot so I am here to say goodbye my friend next time we meet we may be enemies until then Farewell, Guan Yu. There should be boats waiting on the Huang River. We have to transport the carriages to safety. Alright, so this level should be very relaxing for me. So I'm going to actually share a little story. If anyone that has read The Romance of the Three Kingdoms, what happened was, in the story that, or well, in that little intro that I read in the beginning. Yeah, Liu Bei got defeated by Cao Cao and retreated. However, and I think that particular battle happened in 8. He winds up serving Cao Cao. And he served Cao Cao under three conditions. One, that he would surrender to the Han Dynasty and not the Cao Cao. That's the first thing. The second thing is making sure... Uh, Liu Bei's wives were treated accordingly and taken care of, which that was something that Cao Cao did. 
And then the third and most important thing, in any way, shape, or form, if he finds out or if he discovers that Liu Bei is alive, he can actually leave Cao Cao to join up with Liu Bei, which he did. He wind up discovering that Liu Bei was he was alive, and uh, he wind up leaving Cao Cao, which is basically what's happening here. However, the five guards have other ideas, along with Zhao Doom. So. Anyway, that's the first of five, and uh, let me talk about the bodyguard manual. So, in order to get the bodyguard manual, you have to approach Zhao Dun when Guan Yu. Well, you gotta make sure Guan Yu and Zhao Dun basically run into each other after, like, after crossing the fifth gate. So, I think you already know what I'm getting with, you know. I think you're kind of getting why I'm playing as Guan Yu. You will not pass this gate. Because if you manage to defeat all five gates, and Zhao Dun's pretty much... He takes a long time to actually get to one side to the other. I'll tell you that right now. So, there's a good chance where if you don't play as Guan Yu, that he could make it to the Yellow River before Zhao Dun even approaches him and ends the stage. That's why I'm playing as Guan Yu, and that's why I highly recommend you playing as Guan Yu, just for that reason alone. So, once that happens, that's it. You could grab the item, you could even skip Zha Ho Doom for all I care, and then end the stage. But, I'm going to I'm gonna defeat Zha Ho Doom, and uh, I'm going to actually try to defeat Wang Zhe, because in this stage, he actually retreats. In the story and in the encyclopedia, I mean, I've actually read some of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms novel. I've read the encyclopedias in, these, in this uh, game, and I also watched the little anime that they had, which was pretty much up to the Battle of Cherby, and that was it. And uh, the fourth gate, Han, was it Han Fu? We defeated Han Fu. Uh, Hu Ban. He lets Guan Yu into the fourth, uh, into the fourth gate, and uh, Wang Zhe decides to attack him anyway. And well, I think you already know the rest. He defeats Wang Zhe pretty much easily. But anyway, so once we once we open the fourth gate, Zhao Dun will start to charge after Guan Yu, and like I said, he takes a long time. So he could dilly dally for all I care. But uh, there's more to it than just that, actually. So we already cleared the third gate, and now we're gonna go for the fourth. And fun fact for you, when you actually defeat that said general, they will actually the troops will actually retreat, all of them. So it's up to you whether or not you want to defeat the troops, because they won't go after the carriage after you defeat that said general. So once we defeat Hu Ban, all of these troops here will start to run away. So here's the fourth gate. Well, we're about to enter the fourth gate. And uh, like I said, this is an easy stage. Should be an easy stage for me anyway. So it's technically not four because we're still in the fourth gate, and we still have to open the gate leading to the fifth gate. And here comes Zhao Dun. So, once the carriage enters this gate, the, the gates are going to close, and pretty much there's going to be an ambush unit. And that's Wang Zhe's ambush unit. Once you defeat enough of Wang Zhe's units, which is pretty much all but maybe four or five of them, he will appear and start to run away. If you want experience points, you really want to defeat him as fast as you can. For some reason, he gives me 800 something experience points out of the fucking blue. I'll show you right here. Once he actually gets close enough to actually close the gate. There you go. Aim for the carriages. One, you, you, he has nothing left to protect. Be prepared to die if you stand in that way. Yeah, believe it or not, these troops won't do much. It's the generals that will actually cause damage with the uh, the carriage, and 
another part that's actually kind of bullshit is you could actually, well, under Sao Sao's forces, spoiler alert, you have to defeat two carriages to end the stage, which is, like I said, kind of bullshit, but uh, what can you do, right? How many more? We're down to the last few. And there he is. You want to defeat him as fast as you can. Yeah, he gives me 819 experience points for some reason. I don't get it. I'm just going with it, and that works for me. So anyway, that's four down, one more to go, and that's Jinchi. So once we defeat him, we're going to wait right by the, uh, well, get rid of this rat pack first. There we go, and then we're going to wait right over here, because if we get anywhere near that river, we could actually end the stage without even approaching Jaho Dune. Like I said, it's really weird, but I'm going to wait right here, and then once Jaho Dune appears, the item will appear. And like I said, that's why I highly recommend you playing as Guan Yu here, because if you are playing as another character, you have to time it so perfectly, it's bad, because if you if you play as any other character and you clear all five gates, he's going to go straight to the end, and well, I mean, that's what happened with me anyway, so we'll wait a little bit, and defeating Jaho Dune will not end the stage instantly, I'll tell you that right now. It won't instantly end the stage. All you have to do is get close to the river to end it. And once it once the value item appears, then finally caught up. I knew that one day it would come to this. There we go. Alright, so now we'll defeat Jaho Dune as fast as we can. And try to defeat some troops in the process because they will go for the carriage. It will take some time for the troops to defeat the carriage, like I said. But when it comes to generals like Shaho Dune and Shinchi, it will actually be a little bit quicker for them to destroy that carriage. And that's never fun. Alright, he has to quit shooting it up. All right, he's down. This won't happen next time. And that's it, really. Because I'm going to grab the item and then approach the carriage to end it. There's the bodyguard manual and... Thank you, Guan Yu. Welcome back. There is only one place I should be, and it is here. And that's a win. There we go. So, I set out what I said I was going to do, and I've done it. And it only took us 9 minutes and 39 seconds to do it. So, 9 minutes and 39 seconds to do it. Why do I think I said 9 seconds and 39 seconds to do it? But anyway. So, we've got... I totally forgot about the speed scroll. But we finally got a speed scroll. After all this time, we got a new item. Holy shit. So, that pretty much increases the character's speed. The uh, seven star stash. Okay, another new item. We're getting all the new items. It'd be nice if we got a herbal remedy too, but 
We'll see. The 7 star stash increases luck when it comes to item drops. Like what I had when I was going for all the maxed out items in Dynasty Warriors 3. This is the particular item you want to have to equip to get those maxed out items. But that's for another day. And the bodyguard manual. Which basically strengthens your bodyguards. Plain and simple. So we have a KO count of 180, which is okay, I guess, for the fact that we got 162 points from it. We defeated everybody in the stage, and we only got 2,312 points. I mean, it's a small stage, and it was really easy to do anyway, so yeah. And I don't think we're going to get a rank. No. Nope. And nope, no uh, level up. I wasn't expecting it. I would have been shocked if I was. Well, I would have been shocked if it did happen. But anyway. And I'm not even worried about the bodyguards at this point because they're at maxed. Well, level anyway. So there we go. We'll save. We'll save over this one here. So there you go. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures and I'll see you in the next part where we'll be taking on Act 3 again and we're going to be, we'll probably go straight for the Battle Chair B again and trigger the fire attack and all that. So, peace out.